right here we are in a beautiful El Cajon, California morning. Nice overcast, beautiful day here. Anyway, we're looking at a very sinister, nicely done 1968 Chevy Camaro Pro Tour Resto Mod. Walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Just has that cool sinister stance, but it has that sinister sound and drive. So, anyway, um, finished in kind of a, uh, I don't have the exact color mix for it or what it's called, but uh, finished in a gray metallic with some nice black accent, uh, vinyl accents on it. Has Ring Brothers door handles on it. Shot wheels, 18s in the rear, 17s in the front. Uh, custom matte finish sport mirrors on it. Cal induction style hood with a tasteful uh, rally style feel up front here. A lot of cool nice little touches. I'm not going to be able to cover it all. I do have a cheat sheet in my hand. Um, but we're going to give you a kind of a feel here as we walk around. We'll put all these details in the spec sheet at Spud's Garage for you. Uh, custom fit uh, Hella fog lights, driving lights up front here. These are uh, I think these are actually Hella headlights too, or style headlights. Nice matte, uh, matte black grill, straight billet style. Underneath the hood here is a uh, 376 cubic inch LS3 GM performance engine. Uh, rated at 525 horsepower from GM performance, has a 4L70E automatic overdrive transmission. Um, has a Detroit True Tractor uh, rear differential in it, a Mosier axle, 31 spline axles in it. Professionally built by Dean's Hot Rods out of the Phoenix uh, area. Hot Rods by Dean here. The owner spent some time, the car's got about 5,000 miles on it. Uh, and uh, he's dialed it in, spent some time on spring rates, that type of thing, because he's really keen on uh, suspension and handling and dialed in the Panhard bar. Uh, definitely the kind of car you can drive. Seat of your pants field style to it. You'll see the huge Wilwood disc brakes up front. The shot wheels. We'll have tire sizes at Spud's Garage. Going around the car here, very nice. There is a little tiny scratch on the glass here on the passenger side um, very custom uh, hot rod interiors by Glenn uh, two two-tone as you'd say suede and uh, gray leather German square weave carpet in it see the suede seat belts front and rear nice back seat here as a uh, custom console that follows from the rear here all the way to the forward so waterfall in the rear um, cup holders seat belts has a uh, audio system in it uh, I think we'll go ahead and cover that right now it has a Rockford Fosgate speakers and amp JVC stereo head unit suede headliner these seats are out of a uh, Firebird 2000 Firebird seats Doors shut nice in it. Again, these Ring Brothers door handles are cool. Kind of got that uh, sinister feel of look, as I mentioned about. You'll hear it run, and um, we'll actually go for a ride and let the owner drive, and so I can get a good video camera of a drive uh, or video of the drive. Out back here, kind of a nice touch. Uh, you don't see that. It's got a split bumper rear that was custom done by uh, Hot Rods by Dean. It's uh, getting the matte finish on the back here, but you'll see in the deck lid here, it's kind of got an impression that they've custom fit into the deck lid here. So it gives it an aero flow look. But the uh, split bumpers, the matte bumper finish on it's very cool. Those are uh, tail lights. I'm trying to think they're custom. I know that, but. Uh, Custom billet 69 tail lights in it. Still has the rear fill like a uh, uh, 68 wood. 69 they went to the, the fuel fill was behind the license plate, but now uh, 67, 68 it was in the rear body panel. They've kept it there. If you're looking for a car that you can drive, 
have fun, maybe even do an autocross event if you wanted to, or a, one of those type events, you could do it with this car. Suspension wise, one of the things I didn't mention, I keep talking about handling, but it has a destroyed speed engineering suspension underneath the car, tubular control arms, front and rear, uh, four bar suspension uh, in the rear. Uh, we'll get it up on the lift and cover it in more detail with you up front. DSC 600 power steering box, Hydra Boost, four wheel disc brakes. Walk you through some of the equipment that I probably missed when I was uh, cruising around here, but if you're interested in this car, you're gonna listen to my whole video anyway. I would hope you would. German square weave carpets fitted nice. Interior's nice. Punch level control down there below the dash for the audio system. There's a neat Hurst shifter with indicators right here. There's a JVA, uh, JVC audio head. Auto meter uh, carbon fiber ultralight series gauges in it, full gauge pack. You can see what's going on. Obviously air conditioning. We're gonna fire it up here. This is vintage air controls right here. So they have that factory look, but they give you the panel that comes with the kit. Electronic fuel injection, so obviously LS3, what you talked about. Just wicked fun to drive. All courtesy lights throughout. Has those ring brothers door handles inside here too. I'm thinking you get it. Get you underneath the hood very nice nicely done underneath the hood finish follows all the way through to the bottom side of the hood here the fender aprons also nice little details the optima battery is blacked out on the top so it's not staring at you anyway the horsepower underneath the hood here is a 376 cubic inch uh, gm performance engine rated at 525 horsepower engine dyno i believe engine stand dyno the owner it's uh, the owner current owner has put it on a dyno and it put out about 425 to 430 horse at the rear wheels. Uh, 4L70E automatic overdrive transmission, also a GM performance crate component uh, with GM computer in it. Electronic shift. Has a front runner serpentine belt drive system up here. Uh, and you'll see the Detroit speed engineering suspension components up front here. They're all fully adjustable. You also catch there the uh, they use stainless steel body mounts on it. I believe they had a body mount kit for these. You'll see the uh, thread end of the bolt there. The radiator itself, I don't know if this is a custom component or a component you buy. I'm on a lend to say it's probably custom to a certain extent. Aluminum radiator up front here, dual electric cooling fans, has a uh, coolant reservoir right on top here that's uh, very nice. Come over here, they've run the air intake over here, so the air intake's bringing in cool air from the fender, underneath the fender over there. Has a six uh, DSE 600 series uh, power steering box. Power steering. Has a uh, Hydra Boost, has four wheel uh, Willwood disc brakes on it, and this is a Willwood Master with Hydra Boost assembly, so you don't have to worry about any vacuum issues. I'm gonna have the owner fired up here for you. By the way, he has no problems cold start, any start. He's going to fire it up here for us. No overheat issues whatsoever, no matter what day. 5,000 miles on the odometer. Give it just a little 
little bit. Yep. Can hear me. Rev it up just a little bit. Nice. All right, we'll get the trunk here for you. It's the uh, woofer back here, and there's the amp. This panel that uh, is right here goes back up here and hides it. German square weave carpet in the trunk. All right, we're going to do a little gauge review here, and then Spudman's going to take his little one, two, three shift drive. One, two, three, four. Anyway, uh, tax fully operational. Oil pressure's. Uh, you know, about 40 pounds, 5,578 miles at the time of inspection. Quarter tank of fuel in it. She's running about 180 or so. No overheat issues ever. Charging systems just over 13 volts. Got shift indicators here, you see. be able to get it up to full speed here. Love my job. <laughs> Make sure you go to spudsgarage.com. Here we're going to cover the undercarriage for you. Very, a uh, lot of high-end suspension components on it. It has the uh, Detroit Engineering Speed Kit up front here. It utilize, utilizes a factory uh, subframe here and it's all these are all very uh, well engineered components that they that they build and there's Woodwood disc brakes up front drilled slotted rotors adjustable coilovers up front. The owner, the current owner has dialed in all the suspension on it. You'll see they've run stainless brake lines and braided lines here. There's the 376 uh, LS3 bottom side of the engine here. All the exhaust is uh, mandrel bent, ceramic heat coated, kind of a matte color. 4L70E automatic transmission with a GM controller on it. Kind of gets you up in the nook and crannies here. Might have a little noise in the background at the shop. Emergency brake here. Nice crossover, Giuliano style connectors on the exhaust. Flowmaster mufflers, it has Detroit uh, speed subframe connectors on the uh, front subframe connected to the rear of the body of the car. They're embedded into the body here. All assembled by Hot Rods by Dean and again the owner uh, dialed it in after he got it and spent some time on the Panhard bar in the back here. Again, this is all Detroit en uh, Detroit engineering, Detroit speed engineering components. Willwood disc brakes on the rear, drilled slotted rotors. We'll have the spec sheet at Spud's Garage. Kind of just kind of give you a good view here. Panhard bar, he made some adjustments and he put different spring rate coils in the rear here. These are QA1 uh, shocks in the rear. Exhaust is tucked up nice and high there. This is a Rock Valley stainless fuel tank with an in-tank pump. We'll actually go around the outside here and give you a bird's eye view once we get back up front. One more pass through here. I don't think I pointed out the trans cooler up front. That's kind of cool. Does anybody do that? Custom uh, mounted low here, trans cooler. Has uh, shot wheels. Has, uh, up front here it has uh, 17 by 8. We'll get into the specs and tires. Neato uh, NT speed rated tires on it. Out back here, these are uh, shot Mach 5 
exposed lug is what they're called same front rear 18 by 10s in the rear so it's got some pretty good sized meats in the rear here rear end I don't think I covered that while I was back here it is a Mosier true track differential with 31 spline axles in it there you go make sure you uh, go to spudsgarage.com plenty of still photos have a great day